An adhesive base plate is the most common and often the most preferred method for comfortably attaching a heat and moisture exchanger, otherwise known as an HME, to your stoma. There are different types of adhesives that can help provide a personalized solution. Applying adhesives may take some practice, but once you get the hang of it, your seal may be more comfortable and last longer throughout the day. Getting a good seal can lead to a stronger voice, and there are many situations that can affect how well you maintain your seal. For some people, the area around their stoma may be irregularly shaped or deeper set. Others live in a warmer climate where they sweat a lot, or they may live in colder climates and have drier skin. There are people who speak with a voice prosthesis frequently throughout the day, or even those who speak hands-free, which requires a stronger adhesion, and still others whose skin is recovering from surgery or radiotherapy. The reality is that everyone has different needs and different reasons why they may not be getting a good seal. The first issue we often hear about from users is that their adhesive is not staying on all day. How you apply and remove your adhesive is key to maintaining a good seal. There are four basic steps for proper application and removal of your adhesive. Developing good habits for prepping your skin may allow the adhesive to stick better and help prevent skin irritation. First, remove your base plate by using Provox Adhesive Remover, soaking the entire adhesive to loosen it. Apply adhesive remover under the edge of the adhesive and use the wipe to gently push the adhesive off your skin. Next, clean the skin around your stoma with a Provox cleaning towel and or soap and water to remove any oil and adhesive residue. Allow the skin to dry completely. Then, prepare the skin for your adhesive by applying Provox Skin Barrier. Allow the skin around your stoma to dry completely, which should take around one to two minutes. Finally, apply the adhesive by aligning the bottom ring with the lower lip of the stoma. Warming the adhesive can help activate the glue and help it stick better. Place and massage the adhesive onto the skin, starting from the center and moving outward. If you have a voice prosthesis, wait at least five minutes prior to speaking to improve adhesion. As you work to find an adhesive routine that works well for you, here are some additional tips and tricks that can help you get and maintain a good seal. If your adhesive doesn't fit you well, select an adhesive that best fits your stoma shape, skin care, and speaking needs. If the edge of your adhesive is lifting, check to see if there is mucus building up underneath the adhesive or if it is loosening in the same location every time. Select an adhesive that best fits your stoma shape Speak to your clinician about other adhesive base plate troubleshooting options. If your adhesive loosens when you change your HME, hold the adhesive in place with two fingers when removing the HME. Lift the edge of the HME and remove as if you were opening a door. If your adhesive is loosening when you cough, remove the HME from the adhesive when you feel a cough coming on. After you cough, carefully remove any mucus from in between the adhesive and your skin. If your adhesive seal loosens when you talk for an extended period of time or speak hands-free, try not to speak too loudly or with too much force. Consider using Provox Life Stability, Provox Silicone Glue, or Skin Tack for a stronger adhesion with your base plate. After trying these tips, if you still cannot maintain a good seal for at least eight hours, please contact your clinician. We hope you have found the information and tips in this video helpful. If you need any additional support, please reach out to us at Atos Medical. We're here to help. For additional resources, visit our website.